in the International Junior Holstein Show ring. Judge Harbaugh has completed his placings in our six-year-old and older cow class. Placing third in the class is entry number 354, Urbaker's Atwood Divinity, exhibited by Connor and Nathan Erbson of Lanark, Illinois. Second in the class was entry number 356, Four Hills Gold Jasmine, exhibited by Brittany, Brad, John, Megan, and Sarah Hill of Bristol, Vermont. And winning the class is entry number 357, Kingsmill Atwood Allison, exhibited by Whitney Ebert of Algoma, Wisconsin. Congratulations. Judge Harbaugh, your reasons. Well, ladies and gentlemen, another really nice class here in our age cow class, but quite a handy winner in this first cow. She's got so much style, balance, smoothness, and blending apart. She's got that great balance of power and angularity throughout, and she's extremely long in her frame today. And it's that advantage she has in depth and width through the floor of her chest, length through her barrel, that big open draping rib structure that takes her over the cow coming along in second. This first cow is also much longer and snugger in her forehead or attachment. She shows us more height with bloom and capacity to her rear rudder today. First cow is in her fourth lactation, the second cow is in her fifth lactation. The second cow over the third cow, and I wouldn't argue if somebody wanted to switch this placing, but for me the second cow is just a little more angular, a little more open in her rib structure today. She carries her rudder just a little higher above the hock. She's just a little deeper in her seam today with one more calf than this beautiful, stylish frame cow we have coming along in third. This white cow, a cow that's so long and straight in her lines, a beautiful foot and legged cow, and a cow that's very correct in her rudder attachments, just not quite as deep in her seam today as the first two cows. But that third cow uses her advantage today in strength of pastern, freedom and mobility, and just a little more style throughout her frame today than this big, deep rib cow we have coming coming along in fourth. Our fourth cow, a cow with so much width and capacity to her udder, a cow with a lot of bloom to her udder, and she shows us just a little more balance and levelness to her udder floor today than this silky black cow coming along in fifth. And then fifth over sixth today, a cow that just has more depth of rear rib, more depth of flank today than our cow coming along in sixth. Congratulations to our exhibitors. If you're marking your catalogs with us in the International Junior Holstein Show, we had six age cows exhibited today. Entry 349 and 350 did not show. Entry 351 was fifth. Entry 352 placed fourth. Entry 353 did not show. Entry 354 was third in the class, Urbaker's Atwood Divinity, exhibited by Connor and Nathan Erbson of Lanark, Illinois. Entry 355 did not show. Entry 356 was second in the class. Four Hills Gold Jasmine, exhibited by Brittany, Brad, John, Megan, and Sarah Hill of Bristol, Vermont. Entry 357 was our winning entry in the class. Kingsmill Atwood Allison, exhibited by Whitney Ebert of Algoma, Wisconsin. 358 placed sixth. Now in the ring is our 150,000 pound production cow class. The awards here are presented by Sybil Fisher Photography of Green Bay, Wisconsin.
National Junior Holstein Ring. Judge Harbour has completed our placings in the 150,000 pound production cow class. Placing third in the class is entry number 364. In our four-year-old class in the Ayrshire Show, Judge Paulson has made his placings. Would our juniors please take a step forward? Our second place juniors, entry 697, Old Bankston J.C. Bryce Bikini E.T., exhibited by Landry Fraley from Muncie, Pennsylvania. And our second, or excuse me, our first place winning juniors, entry 702, High Air View Free Beer Me, exhibited by Alexis Williams and KCNC Cruzy from Dyersville, Iowa. Certainly, a round of applause. Well earned. Our production winner is 698 Halls Burdette Haha -ha ET, exhibited by Brittany, Megan, Johnny, and Bradley Hill from Bristol, Vermont. Our best bred and owned is entry 691. High Air View Prime Maroon 5 ET, exhibited by Brian and Christy Dinderman from Orangeville, Illinois. Our third place overall winner was also that winning junior, High Air View Free Beer Me, exhibited by Alexis Williams and K and C and C Cruzy from Dyersville, Iowa. Our second place class winner, 693 Maori's Popo Mistletoe, exhibited by Glamour View Farm from Walkersville, Maryland. And the winning entry is number 694, Merrily Gentleman Carmina, exhibited by Bud John Farm, Peter Vale, and Mike and Linda Hillebrand. Congratulations. Judge, your comments. What a nice group of four-year-olds all the way down. I'm sure there's champions at a lot of fairs all the way down. But this first cow here, uh, she, she spells it all together for us today. It's the vein nation, the quality of mammary throughout, being a little nicer, cleaner, fe a little more feminine throughout than the, big, than the wide chested cow coming here in second. Second over third, on that, just being a little more width of the chest, just a little more strength throughout, gets her over the dairy cow here coming in third. Third over fourth, a little bit of a tighter placing, but today we're gonna to go with a little cleaner, flatter bone, just a little more open to the rib, plus she's having the advantage of being third calf over to a young man's cow here, and fourth being uh, uh, just two, two calf cow. It, is a, it gets a little closer here between fourth and fifth here, the, the red cow here, just just tracks a little nicer today for me to get, it gets her over the big cow coming in fifth. Fifth over six, a little closer placing here today, and we're gonna go with a little more frame cow here, just a little more open to her rib, just a little cleaner and feminine up to that head and neck. It's over the nice little cow in here in second. Congratulations. <laughs> 